In this video, we'll share the top 25 things to do in Oslo. At number one, we have the Oslo Opera House. A modern architectural marvel, the Oslo Opera House sits right on the harbor, resembling an iceberg. Visitors can freely climb its roof for a panoramic view of the Oslo Fjord, especially mesmerizing at sunset. The interior boasts warm oak surfaces, contrasting the exterior's icy glass and stone. At number two, we have the Vigeland Museum. Located near the famous Frogner Park, this museum was once the home and studio of the renowned sculptor Gustav Vigeland. It showcases his creative process, plaster models, and many of his earlier pieces. The museum also hosts contemporary art exhibitions. At number three, we have the Big Doi Peninsula. A haven for history and nature lovers, the peninsula houses five national museums, including the Viking Ship Museum and the Kontiki Museum. When the sun's out, the peninsula's serene beaches and trails beckon for a leisurely stroll or a refreshing swim. At number four, we have the Munch Museum. If Edvard Munch's The Scream intrigued you, this museum will satiate your curiosity further. It houses over half of Munch's total paintings, along with his graphic art and drawings. At number five, we have the Frogner Park. This park is famous for its 212 sculptures by Gustav Vigeland. From the iconic Angry Boy to the towering monolith, the park offers a unique blend of art and nature. At number six, we have the Astrup Fernley Museum of Modern Art. This contemporary art museum, designed by Renzo Piano, showcases works by modern art giants like Andy Warhol, Damien Hirst, and Olafur Eliasson. At number seven, we have the Viking Ship Museum. This museum boasts the Oseberg Ship, a 9th to 8th century burial ship remarkably preserved. It also displays other Viking ships and artifacts, providing insights into Viking burial rituals. At number eight, we have the Norwegian Folk Museum, an open air museum. It showcases the diversity of Norwegian wooden architecture. The Gold Stave Church, dating back to the 12th century, is a must see. At number nine, we have the Akershus Fortress. Built in the 13th century, this fortress has withstood numerous sieges, mostly by Swedish forces. It offers a glimpse into Norway's medieval history. At number 10, we have the Kontiki Museum. Dedicated to the adventures of Thor Heyerdahl, it displays the balsa wood raft he sailed from Peru to Polynesia in 1947. At number 11, we have the Fram Museum. This museum celebrates polar explorers like Roald Amundsen. The highlight is the Fram ship, which ventured further north and south than any other vessel. At number 12, we have the Norwegian National Gallery. Home to Munch's The Scream, this museum also features works by Picasso, Renoir, and Paul Cézanne. At number 13, we have the Acker Bridge, a stylish waterside development. It's perfect for shopping, dining, and enjoying views of the fjord. At number 14, we have the Holmen Collins Ski Museum and Tower. This iconic ski jump offers insights into Norway's skiing history and boasts panoramic views of Oslo. At number 15, we have the Tjufholmen Sculpture Park. Designed by Renzo Piano, this park by the fjord features sculptures by modern art luminaries. At number 16, we have the Ibsen Museum. The former home of playwright Henrik Ibsen, it offers a deep dive into his life and works. At number 17, we have the Norwegian Museum of Science and Technology. A paradise for tech enthusiasts, it features interactive stations, workshops, and historical exhibits. At number 18, we have the Norway's Resistance Museum. It chronicles the Norwegian resistance during Nazi Germany's occupation from 1940 to 1945. At number 19, we have the Oslo City Hall. An architectural gem, it's adorned with artworks depicting Norwegian historical figures. At number 20, we have the Methallen Food Hall. A food lover's paradise, it offers a plethora of international cuisines and culinary experiences. At number 21, we have the University Botanical Garden. Norway's oldest botanical garden, it's home to a diverse range of plant species. At number 22, we have the Tusenfried Amusement Park. The largest in Norway, it promises a day of thrill and fun with its numerous rides and attractions. At number 23, we have the Oslo Fjord Trips. Explore the serene fjord, its islands, and coves through various boat trips. At number 24, we have the Royal Palace. The official residence of Norway's royal family, it's an epitome of neoclassical architecture. At number 25, we have Polse. A culinary delight, these Norwegian sausages are a must try, especially when wrapped in a lump flatbread. So that sums up my top 25 things to do in Oslo. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.